way to Providence and we're on our way to Providence to eat where we actually haven't been there in a really long time. A very long time. Right? Yep. Um, we're in the seafood mood so we're going to Hemingway's which is right on uh, South Main Street in Providence and I used to go there quite a bit um, but really have not been there in at this point years. Oh well, you lived over there. Yep, um, I used to yeah. live in Providence, and when I did, I actually didn't live too far from Hemingways. But but now that we live in Swansea, uh, we I think together have only been there once. Yeah. So um, join us as we head into the city for some, I hope, absolutely amazing seafood, and we'll see you when we get to Hemingways. See you there. Yep. Okay, so we've ordered our meals. Uh, we've ordered our appetizers and meal. Right? Um, I am going to get a. It's called a white shrimp aquachile. It is actually a lot like a, a ceviche that we get at the Los Andes restaurant. With um, I think it does have some avocado and some lime, and it's probably. I'm expecting to see the shrimp kind of chopped up small in it. Yeah. So we'll it's, see. And I guess it's served like a ceviche with a, a couple of tortilla chips. But yeah, something. it does come with tortilla chips. So we'll see. That should be interesting. Looking forward to that. We got a cold seafood platter. Yes. A, uh -huh. Comes with a baby lobster and yeah. some shrimp and some, I think, cherry stones, oysters. Yeah, little and necks, cherry stones, some shrimp, and a baby lobster, which I'm hoping is illegally <laughs> not too baby. I don't. I don't think this place <laughs> would do sure. that. But we'll see. Anyways, um, and for dinner, I'm gonna get the seafood casserole. It's outstanding. Right. Yeah, it's got a bit of everything in it. It's got your lobster, your shrimp, your scallops, your everything in there. And I believe it's like a Ritz crumb over the top. It has like a topping of Ritz it's, a cracker. It has a Monterey Jack cheesy, creamy garlic sauce. Yeah. A Mornay type that it's sauce. To form the casserole yeah. inside. So. And you are actually going back to fish, aren't you? I am. And it's a. Yeah. Uh, it's, they said it was kind of a Portuguese style. It's a pan roasted fillet of sole with uh, stewed kales yeah. and Did some type of sauce. Did that one have asparagus? What did it have for a veggie? It didn't have asparagus. No, it's just it? the kale. It was just kale. I think oh, there okay. might have been something else with the kale, but I'm not sure. Oh, you sure know what? what I was, was looking at a different. Oh, I, little I necks. It has a... little. It's, I think it's like a stew. Yeah. And then they put the fish on top of the little necks and the kale together. I was looking at a I different hope. fish that had the asparagus for it. Stuff, yeah. But, yeah, so that sounds really good. They had a couple nice specials. They had their surf and turf. They had appetizer specials. Or they have scallop wrap dates, right? Which I like dates, but I've I, had those. I Overrated. just don't think you, you know what? We're gonna go with the seafood in the let the me, let me just show And then you they brought us though. this, yeah. So it's 
it's a hot sauce red, neither of us have had, right? Red fermented Rhode Island made hot sauce. Yeah. And on the back, interestingly, it says it's a blend of fermented fresh jalapenos, dried habaneros, freshly roasted garlic, a touch of carrot, creating layers of flavor and not just heat. Nice. So I guess yeah, you can so buy it locally, and there's a, a website listed on the back so that says where you can get it. But it's saying that it tastes great on eggs and in Bloody okay. Mary, so this might be good. Well, I we're putting it on some seafood. Yeah, I'm typically <laughs> not a jalapeno habanero person. I'm very much of a chili or cayenne pepper person. And That's why I always carry my... Yeah, you got your little Franks. Franks. Now, is there any vinegar? I didn't see you mention... Oh, yes. I did is. not do the ingredients. But, okay. Distilled white vinegar is the first ingredient. Okay, and then so jalapeno yeah, so it'll have peppers. a nice bite to it. Um, there's no... Ser seriously, there's like no chemicals in this. Yeah, that's... Well, you know what? It's preserved with the vinegar. Yeah. So, all right, we're definitely going to be using that and let you know what we two, think. Two kinds of vinegar, distilled white and apple cider. Oh, okay. Sea yeah. salt, coriander, habaneros, Which is uh, cilantro, the coriander. Exactly. So, right. so, let's give this thing a try. Absolutely. All right, we'll be back. So I've got my white shrimp, Echo Chile. It's not what I expected because I was expecting it more like a ceviche where the shrimp were gonna be chopped up more. And I see it's got some cucumber and some radish, some egg, uh, I'm not sorry, egg, avocado, which looks like egg to me. Let me put a little bit of this on my plate. It does have those tortillas. And I'm getting a whole bunch because I'm sure Nidia is only going to taste this. She's just going to sample it. I'm just going to sample the shrimp. Whereas wow, that's I'm big. actually going to eat it. And uh, hold on a sec. Looks like we got some more, so we'll be right back. So, we have our very nice, beautiful little seafood appetizer that came through. And I see the little necks, shrimp, and I like how they have the separate horseradish from the cocktail sauce. Me too. And there's a bunch of oysters. I wasn't thinking they were doing the four oysters, but that's really nice. This is really worth it. And there's a lot of lobster there for me to work with and for Anidia to help me with. And I have just put together my perfect bite here, and I'll let you know what I think. Yeah. Now, there's a very nice level of, the, the amount of spice in it, and the lime just comes through. So you're saying, I, it's I, not I, what you expected and you like it though. The lime is very forward in there, which is very nice. Try a little shrimp even, hon, if you want. Just, no, I want some shrimp, but I want the onion, I think. No, want, I want some avocado and, and shrimp. Some avocado and shrimp. And I want a little of the sauce. Oh yeah, you're getting, it's in there. It looks kind of good. As I put another one together. And oh man. Right? Isn't it very That's lime tough. forward? It is almost like a really good ceviche. Oh, it's spicy. It's got a bit of heat oh, to it. Oh, it's got it. chilies in it. That's right. And I like that spice of chili. Mm. Wow, that's a winner. I'm having ideas nice. about making a sauce like that with our own shrimp at home. I think I'm going to look it up. I think we could do something similar. Mm -hmm. That would be really good. Wow. Uh, and um, let us get a few things on our plate from this 
really nice seafood platter. And we'll come right back. I'm gonna video. Okay, so I got some of this bread. And I've really done a number on this white shrimp actually. You really like that, didn't you? Really just trying to soak up this lime sauce. And it has chili. Really in get it. a lot on there. That's why it turns green. And they make the bread is warm. They make it. Little buns, they make it. It is got a little bit of crunch to the outside and super soft on the center. And it does a really good job of soaking up this sauce. And I mean that's really just that's sopping. Yeah. Very nice. I'm sure they're gonna think I licked the bowl clean in here. <laughs> Which it, I mean, let's be honest. He did. It does kind of look like I did, right? <laughs> so, but, there's still three chips there, hon. Yeah, there's still a couple chips. There's still a little stuff. This is next. But we are going to work on this. Absolutely. It, it's time. So luckily it is a nice cold one, so it didn't like sit here and get no, cold on us. It started and, that way. Yeah. So we're going to rearrange and we'll be right back. All right. So... Wow. You've got your work cut out for you, hon. Where are you going to start? You going to start with well, some lemon? I'm going to start by, uh, oh. I'm gonna start by dropping, dropping the, lemon the lemon on the ice. There you go. You're dropping and then it down. by pouring it over every piece of shellfish. And there's a lot of lemon here. Help me. So I'm going to flip the lobster tails. Oh, this is going great. I can't wait. That was awesome. See, look, I licked it clean. It was great. <laughs> he didn't like it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. There we go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna free this little lobster guy because he looks like he needs to be freed. And, and I'm going to continue us. squeezing yep. lemon on the little mix, which I love. And should be a lot the shrimp. Right now. Can you throw you some more right, lemon on that shrimp? Right on that. No, oh, the, and the shrimp is. Yep, I will. I'm gonna These flip them. U12 shrimp. That's a lot of shrimp they gave us with this. Yeah, I'm gonna flip the shrimps. So there you go. So you get some more on both sides. That should be lots, hon. I love it lemony. Okay. Okay, so you got lots of lemon in there now. I'm gonna stir this up for you, the cocktail sauce. Please do. Let me just get this nice and stirred up. I love they put the horseradish separate on and top. You know what? And it, it's there's actually some in there, so they give it a little extra kick of horseradish. I love it. And I'm gonna try this on my my little neck. You're gonna try a drop or two on there? Okay. Well, and, Oh, and this is that bubble pack seaweed. <laughs> yeah. Now, normally it's not that color. It's a lot more brown. It turns green when you boil it. So, so they boil the me, seaweed to get it that color. Let me try. Oh, I gotta taste this. The cherry. This is a little neck, actually. The cherry stones are there. But this is a little neck. I did add a drop or a couple of drops of, of the, the little hot red. sauce. Yep. And. Uh, what do you think? First of all, so fresh. Ice cold fresh. I don't taste a lot of hot sauce, even though I put a couple drops. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. She was a little shy about it, I think. He'll try. Let me try. I'll let you know. Are you in the frame? So, no, no, I'm going to do my work over here in the frame. Okay. Just so you can... If okay. I didn't put enough, if, I couldn't if taste that's it. that's not tasting like hot sauce, well, then nothing is. So, I want to do all this. I know I'm out of frame on this one. I'll get back in, but I need to just really give it a test. It is still kind of stuck to the shell there. Here we go. All right, here we go. Oh. You're not in the frame. I mentioned that. That I was just trying to test the level of the hot sauce. I did all the stuff in the frame. Do it, do it on. on. And now we're on. So. Shrimp with a lot of horseradish in the cocktail sauce. Okay. And actually, here, I'm going to join you. I'm going to come around so I can join you while I Hun? really... That's really good cocktail sauce. It looks good. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I'll switch plates so I can really have a nice plate to work from. Yep. This is I... good. I'm very big on cocktail sauce. I don't skimp with any sauces, as I'm sure you can see now. And, uh, the first thing I'll say is the shrimp are cooked perfectly. Not chewy, not gummy. You can tell they totally steamed the shrimp for the right amount of time. 
No, it's and the shrimp. size of the shrimp, they call them U12, U12 shrimp. That's I'm not oyster. sure what it means, do size wise. Do you want pints or do you want reds? No, I'll try the reds. Because I got a taste of it with... Oh, that's a lot of reds, but... I don't know, maybe I'm not a habanero person or a jalapeno person. I think I'm a cayenne person. What do you think? No, that's a very good flavor. And mild. It's not a strong one. It's mild. But it goes well with the lemon juice. Yes. So when you add it in the lemon juice, it ends up really well. Very nice. You know what? Would you use this at home? I think I would. On I've, a ramen maybe, or a Mexican dish, or a seafood? I'm not sure what I'd uh, prefer, prefer it on, but... Uh, I want to try their baby lobster tail. Hopefully they cooked it right. Is that butter? Or something else? It doesn't look like butter. It does not have a butter color. Tell me. It's vinegar. That must be awesome. It's very good. Yeah. It's a red wine, red wine vinegar. Oh, I love vinegar. I'll have a and piece of your lobster. Do you like that piece? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just take it. I'm gonna dip it in the vinegar. Try a little bit of the vinegar. I've never had vinegar with seafood. Well, now you can try it. Just like that. Wow. It's actually really nice. This is like a revelation for me. So if I had the vinegar, I'm always right, thinking. And then I go back to my cocktail. That you would dip the cooked lobster, but because it's cold, I think you're right. I think the vinegar is amazing. And then I might just. Just to have a, just a plain piece of lobster. Very nice. That's what it is. Well, the last bite, I didn't put in anything. I just ate it as fly. So, I think I'm going to end up having to make a little mess. I'm going to crack the claws. I'm going to do it. But I will say, one more try. Of the reds. You know what? I almost want to say I should try one with Frank's. So I get a real quick comparison. So one more on the reds. And then there I'm go. opening my little pack because I'm going to probably put this on my my main meal. Mm -hmm. And I'll do this one. You want me to put the... You put the Franks, Franks on that one. And don't be shy. I know not be shy. There you it. go. So we got a nice amount of Franks going on over there. Make sure it's freed. Yep. It's a taste test, folks. Oh, my. You like the reds better. Frank's is more of a bite. It's stronger. Yes, that's weak. This is very mild. This, more of the vinegar. I think maybe even a touch of like carrot comes oh, through. Oh, this carrot. Yeah, it's <laughs> sweet. It's actually got a sweet finish. It's got finish. a nice little... Yeah, it's like I a can finish. see because using that, this with some things I absolutely at could use this. I think if we had little packets of this, I'd probably choose this almost equally as much as Frank's. It really is good. This is, uh, very, I, w I thought it was going to be really hot, and the word fermented scared me. Don't be afraid. This is good. We're going to order some. Oh, no. It's, um, I think you'd like this because you like the, the heat. Maybe I can buy one more here. Mild level. And bring one home. I'll ask. Because you like that nice little mild level, so that is I awesome. I would put this on, like, my eggs tomorrow. Whereas if I really want more kick, I would actually go with Frank. Yeah, Frank's is spicier. Yep. But they're both really good. Yeah. yeah. Um, pretty impressed. It is. It's nice. So something like this, and I think for more people, because it's not so bold. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I, if you uh, think Frank's is bold, this might be your thing. Uh, actually, uh, it's my thing when I don't want something that bold. Frank's is bold on eggs in the morning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. I do it every day. Which you like all the time. Whereas later in the day, I can get much, much hotter. I tend to use less heat. Oh, I, I can't do what you do, but... Yeah. Okay, folks. And, um, right, guys. Uh, that's it for now. Let's finish what we have before our meals arrive. Thankfully, they brought us some hot things because I don't want my fingers to smell like shrimp. Yeah. Or lobster. Or little necks. It was a nice, it was a steaming hot you towel. Don't, you don't see this um, very often except the air, airlines, first yeah. class seats maybe, and that oh. kind of thing. Or when you're traveling and you're going international, they give you these, right? Yeah. But of and course, uh, then people like pour it all over their face. Over here, yeah. just kind of keep your well, hands clean. And usually the closest you see, you get a little wet nap. Yeah, this is better than a wet nap. It was nice. Yeah. There you go. 
I'm the one who got the asparagus. Have you had a whole a nice scallop right there, right? And it is it's a really creamy sauce under there, huh? That looks awesome. Oh my, can you look at the cream? Oh, wait. No. So our entrees have arrived. And Nadia has this beautiful sole. And they folded it over, that's interesting. Interesting. With some little necks and the potatoes and kale inside. Is that chorizo too? Or it looks like linguiça. It looks like it might be a little linguiça in there. That's very nice. And uh, you're gonna go with Frank's? You're not gonna go with the, the, the reds? No, you're, you're gonna stick I, with I'm your, gonna go to my You're gonna stick with your go-to Frank's. Happy, happy place. I'm gonna and set I'm this gonna... down for a sec while you try that out. And I'll get you in on that. Oh, hold on, or a little, there you go. I'm gonna put this, because I like it in the sauce. You know, it's familiar to me, and I like familiar things. And uh, there you I'm, go. I'm like spreading it all over this plate so it's like landing on the sides, and we can bring it in if we need it and leave it out if we don't. Any fresh white pepper? I'm good. She's good, and I think I'm pretty good too. So. This looks amazing. Uh, yes. Of course. Yeah. I'll put it in my bag. Really? Oh, thank extra, you. Extra, extra for you because you're amazing. <laughs> there you go. I'm not kidding. Thank oh. you very much. Thank you. Enjoy you thank you. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Have you a little more ice as well. Thank you. Nice. She's amazing. We're giving her a big tip. She just gave us an extra of the red hot sauce. Nice. And I am so going to taste. This is like a out. Portuguese. You can't see it. Um, stew. Yeah, I can see in the bottom. With kale, liquid showing up. Little necks and potatoes, kind of like a um, mini so. caldeira de peixe in Portuguese. And um, like I said, I'm trying to be more Mediterranean healthy diet. So I'm, I'm going not, to taste. And you're not going to see me. She's going to let her judge it. But I'm stealing I'm have a, a little bit of, of her broth. I'm going to have a piece of linguiça and a piece of the little neck with it. I know. Oh, it's really hot. Oh, and dip it in the sauce. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. And that broth is very Portuguese. Is it good? Very nice. Try it. Oh, so if Dwayne likes it, I'm going to love it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Tastes like my babu made it. Right. Oh, very Portuguese. Oh, so much of that linguiça season Smoky. comes through. Yeah. Oh. Oh, how's well, the kale? Kale. Very good. Did you try the kale? Not yet. Let me try the kale. Try a piece of the kale. In yeah. the sauce. Absolutely. Wow. This tastes like. That's a curly kale. So this tastes really like something I hated as nice. a kid, and I used to um, go to my grandparents, and they would have this. It just tastes like it's like Portuguese being a kale. Little girl Did it come a almost like a kale soup idea, right? The way it comes. It's like a kale soup, a seafood kale soup. That's with some, yeah, it's wow. really nice. Oh, that's great. If you like this type of Mediterranean type dish, let me just show you again. Oh yeah. You will love this. Very good. Yeah, it looks like a great choice. And I tasted the sauce. It was awesome. And I got a bit of light on me here, but good? that's okay. I'm gonna back it off a little bit. You see my plate here? It looks great. Let me see if I can block a bit more of the light. I'll come over this way. And I got the seafood casserole. I can't lift the plate to really show you. So I'm gonna bring the camera over for a sec, just so you can see it, because the plate is very hot. And let me. I mean, look at this. That's a lobster tail. Beef. That is a lobster tail. That's beautiful. Some nice scallop right there, right? And it is, it's a really creamy sauce under there, huh? That looks awesome. Oh my, can you look at the cream? Oh, wait. No. That is heavenly. That is my favorite oh. thing to order here. That does, it has the cheese on top. And I got my asparagus. Yeah, let me uh, turn this back around. For you. 
Oh, oh God. This is delicious. Awesome. Oh, so good. Oh. And my asparagus. Really well cooked. It's delicious. It's cooked like perfect. And it's garlicky. Mm. It's salty and garlicky. Really well seasoned. Yeah. I first came here, I guess shortly after it opened, almost 30 years ago. It was back in the 80s. Oh, it was the place in the 80s. My friend the, Brian. The high-end place, yeah. He's the one who introduced me, my friend Brian. And I really thought it was the cat's meow. It was the best. I mean, I, I had never had a dining experience like I got at this restaurant. And it's held up over the years. They still really take care of you. And they cook seafood to perfection. There's just no other way to put it. They just... I, I'm not a big fan of scallops, and that was a great bite of scallop. But I want to try this uh, lobster tail. And they do, they put a lot of crumbs on there. They really... Yeah, they don't scamp. There it is. You can see that right there. Nice. And to get lobster and scallop and shrimp to all cheese. cook perfectly it's a, together. It's a white wine, cheesy, buttery sauce. That's that's, oh. and it has a lot of garlic in it, so it's really good, right? Very garlicky. The white wine really stands out nice. But it doesn't overtake it. The creaminess just. That seems that is, to be the focus, the butter, the creamy. Oh. That's my favorite dish here. This is something new I wanted to try. I'm not yeah. I'm happy with this at all. It's delicious. Oh no, this is just great. Gotta, I'm enjoying just getting some sauce with a little cheese and crackers. Never mind the seafood. Oh my God. <laughs> so, yeah. So you add the seafood in and it's just a win. So I'm going to finish this off and we will come back to you guys again when we get outside. We might even do a little bit of uh, down by the water so you can just kind of see the area before we leave. And we'll be back in a few. See you soon. Oh, uh, it's okay. Fine. Absolutely fine. We're going to let it slide this time. Oh, yes. Because it looks awesome. You, so you nice. really got it your pressing awesome. skills down. You've been practicing a lot. It smells really uh, good. I'll it's tell you, I have one of these at home, and I absolutely swear by it. Yeah, oh, he loves that. It's the first place on the floor where I actually love the coffee here. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Nadia. So go ahead. You get to be the guinea pig to see if you love it just as much as she does. I'm putting in my Splenda. Yep. And a little, a little bit cream. of my cream. Yep. There you go. Perfect. It smells. Amazing. I can smell mine right now. You know, and I was really full awesome. and I really didn't want to get more stuff. But, it's good. Oh. Yeah, this is worth ordering. I know. I'm going to try mine out now. Alright. So, I love sugar in the raw. Even though I'm not supposed to have sugar in the raw. We like great cup of coffee. How do you pass it up? You know it's gonna make the cup. <laughs> but at least I'm doing the 50-50. I'm putting some, a little bit of equal in there with it. I'm mixing. So it's, it's toned, but I think the first time, I remember I was in my 20s, went to Jamaica and had the real cane sugar, and it was still soft. Like you put it on a spoon and you just wanna watch it slowly fall off this, and you dunk mounds of it into your cup. It made the most amazing coffee. And that's that Jamaica Blue Mountain. That's the coffee I still use today. Ever since that experience. That's why I, you ordered Jamaican I coffee. I am hooked on that coffee because of my trip many years ago. You know? But let's say I love French press. So. Oh, it is so good. The only thing that would make it better with a little more of this stuff. <laughs> but it's still excellent. And I'm going to leave it just the way it is. And uh, we'll see you guys when we're outside. I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, and there's the old stone bank across the way. The old stone bank for those of us who grew up in southeastern Mass. 
Yeah. They had the Flintstones. With the Flintstones. In their commercials for Old Stone Bank. Now we'll cross the This is the South Main. We're going to walk over. Yeah. But this is like we'll a little, through this little park. park. Yeah. yeah. Because it's really nice here. It is. And, you know, we don't come that often. I used to come more often when I lived nearby. Oh, yeah. But now we'll just yeah. take a little walk. Yep. And go across. We'll do a quick little look at the river and be able to kind of see all around Providence a bit here. In this downtown area. There it is. There we were. Our, that building is exactly as I remember as it was it first so many years Providence ago. Providence River Park, that's what they called us, see? Oh yeah, there's the sign. It's very quiet. It's a little cool out still. It hasn't warmed up much this spring. It's really <laughs> taking it its time. <laughs> it is, but it's still a little okay. slow, cool. Oh look, there's someone else Oh, we can cross here. You want to go across? Right over here. the bridge? Yeah. Okay, we'll go over the bridge. Well, there's a good breeze now. It's cold. <laughs> so, and I'm out here in just my shirt, which I'm fine, but... Not me. And I have a leather jacket on, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll see if we see any gondolas coming down. Probably not now. They uh, were earlier. When water fire starts in the summer, this is really nice. Yeah. But you can see the building. Oh, yeah. That's Capriccio's. We'll come and well, do a review. Over there is Capriccio's, across the way. Oh, we can just stop here, hon. Oh, and yeah. You can get your views from... It's quite breezy. Over here. For a this little, little uh, short sleeve set up that I've got. There she is. Coming ways is, and there's the school. We come out to this little area. The Eye Bridge. Oh, yeah. And, hey, that's us. Hey, everyone. So, that was Hemingway's. Oh. It was absolutely fabulous. I mean, you know, we will be back. We have to come more often. I know. It's, it's just so 15 nice. minutes from our house, and I don't know why. I, it just doesn't come to mind. Yeah. I it's, mean, you know what? This is a great area because we just have so many choices. I mean, we really have so many great choices, and we choose a lot. We've gone to a lot of places. This is one of those places that we, we haven't, but not because we haven't wanted to. Um, you do have to plan. You need reservations. It gets yeah. a little crowded on the It took you a weekend. while to get your reservation. But, but I, yeah. for the money, well, actually, for what you get, it is not bad. No. But I mean, we go all over. So we really we're used do. to paying so. Las Vegas prices, Miami prices, New York prices, whatever. You get a lot for your money here, and it's really service oriented yeah. so we got oh absolutely well we got a good breeze here i'm ready to get down to where it's warmer he's actually cold i'm almost cold and that takes a lot oh. but uh yeah thank you for tuning in thanks everybody Dwayne and Nidia, food travel fun uh we had some fun hope you enjoy it and Hit we'll see you next subscribe time button. subscribe like and tell your friends until yes. next time bye. thank you bye